hatch. This yes. is how you get to the deck up top. So this pops up, it's a marine hatch. Dude, I don't want to be put in this awkward situation. <laughs> don't slip and fall. So uh, what's your shakedown trip going to be like, Todd? Scary. <laughs> we're going to film it all, and you're going to watch me run over mailboxes. You suck. Yeah. <laughs> be careful, Todd. The ultimate root yeah. campers. You can, you can sunbathe. Yes, you, instead of dancing. That's my favorite. I know. Yeah. Favorite. The big screen and the live band and the, yes. drum, and the drummer on you, you, Yes! The pianist on the okay, oh, Yes! You see it! Yes! I see yes! It. I, I see saw it immediately. Sometimes it's a little bit challenging when you got crazy and crazy, and they come together and they're like, okay, let's do crazy. And it keeps going, and we keep going. And yeah. We're not at the end yet. There's always compromise. Every inch matters. <laughs> oh! So it's... New t shirt idea? No. <laughs> when Todd first told you about this, what was your first reaction? I wasn't surprised because it came from Tide, but... <laughs> I'm scared for you. What? You got the shirt? Enjoy the journey. I'm enjoying the journey. Uh, it, it, t totally. Welcome to the craziest thing at the Tampa RV show that you can find. The most insane rig that I've found here. Now, will this work? I have no clue. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.live. Welcome to the craziest thing at the Tampa RV show that you can find. The most insane rig that I've found here, but I gotta give you some crap about you guys being so secretive. A whole you year. Know, and being so zip lit. Yes. Uh, run into you at Moor Ride this yes. summer. So he caught us <laughs> at Moor Ride as he was doing his upgrades. And we were talking to him and we were just saying, yeah, we're just checking out Moor Ride. We're just doing all that stuff. <laughs> So that the whole time we had something planned. Yeah, I, I mean, and ha so how long ago did you put okay. this in motion? So this started last year, two weeks before the Tampa RV show. Greg calls and he goes, are you going to stop by before you go to the show? And it's like, yeah, we're going to come and shoot. So we're there. Okay. And then we start talking. He goes, I think you should build a spacecraft. I said, there is no way, Greg, we could ever do this. Right. Our, cha our channel's not big enough. He goes, I'm thinking we need to figure it out. And I was like, okay, well, you're not going to give it to us for free because they do <laughs> custom stuff. So then we hatched this idea. And the idea, we reached out to a brands and we said, what if, what if we created something for the community and the whole, the whole community to do events? And we started sending out stuff and brands started responding. And about two months in, I reached back to Greg and I said, I think we can do it. And so this is through sponsors, through people that believe in a vision, and for our community. And it is the biggest blessing that God's ever bestowed on us. No kidding. And we're scared to death. Because I, we are on a journey now, Tom, where... I, I, I'm scared for you. What? You got the shirt. <laughs> enjoy the journey. I'm enjoying the journey. Uh, t t totally. Totally. No, I got, I got like goosebumps for you guys, myself, because... Uh, I know what taken on a really, really huge yeah. project that is, is a bigger vision than you've ever had before. Yes. <laughs> and what's cool about that is that you get, you do get people to buy into something bigger rather than something smaller. The thing is, you, you're looking you know? at this behind you. Okay, think of this though. It is not about the spacecraft. We had right. to have the tool because everyone that's watching isn't going to build a spacecraft. You're right. going to go buy what is what you're going to get the travel trailer, you're going to get the truck camper, you're going to get your Grand Design or your your Forest River, whatever. You bring that, and we go do something together. Like think of all of your community 
our community, other channels, and we do like the biggest RV rally in the United States. And then we all have something really pretty cool. Like that, that's what it's about. And we needed to have something that we could park in a field and we could sit outside and have a concert. And yeah. And we're, you literally uh, can have this massive event in the middle of nowhere. And you know, you Worship got, Night Under the Stars or whatever we want to do. I, I was joking with Sheila, like, well, how many other RVs can you plug into that? Well, you know, okay, I'll give, let, let me give you the stats. Okay. We're 54 feet long. Okay. We are 43,264 pounds dry. 12,000 pounds on the pin weight, meaning you have to have a truck that was designed by someone to help pull it. So this is our truck. Yeah, I just saw your uh, thumbnail for yeah. the, uh, you bought the HDT yeah. right here. And I haven't watched it, but now I can get the in-person <laughs> tour here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you have to have that to pull yeah. a rig like that. Yes. And uh, so that was designed by a company here. They they designed the motorcycle bay. Everything was done right here outside of Tampa. So we're here with Jesse with Hall Fabrication right. out of Lakeland, Florida, and you did some really cool stuff to the setup here for Todd and Sheila, right? Yeah. Do you want to show us a little bit about what you what you did there? Okay. Well, they needed to. Uh, haul their bike and they wanted it enclosed so we had to build a box they ended up buying a Meridek lifting system we installed that in stretched the truck 22 inches added the side panels to hide the fuel tanks and everything else um, had the wheels powder coated flat black um, built the bed installed the hitch build everything on it. What yeah. else? You got some questions? Show us that uh, custom motorcycle uh, deck, dock, whatever. <laughs> okay, so there's rollers stored underneath. They come out, they go into here, they plug in with a pin, come over here, grab your remote, lower it down to the ground. Oh, so, cool. Not going to lower it down without the wheels, but so that comes out, sits totally flat on the ground, unstrap the bike, unload the bike. You can either leave the deck on the ground or you can put it back in and store it back in there. So, and there's also two kayak storage places inside. There's pockets down in the front of the bed to store two kayaks. Okay. The lights come on with the door opening, you know, we got a switch on it. And there's also a drawer on the other side, a storage drawer that comes out. Have you done something like this before? I did one of these 20 years ago, believe it or not. Okay. 20 years ago, so, not with the hydraulic deck, but it had a ramp that come out. Okay. Very many years ago I did it. Because so. like a lot of these people put, like with Rob, he right. has Jeep, Jeep on the back, or they put a smart car back right. there, but this is the first motorcycle I've seen, seen like this. <laughs> There's yeah. one on YouTube and I built it 20 years ago. Okay. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, that is really uh, cool. I, I, I think we hit it for Todd and Sheila. I think we fulfilled everything that they needed. So yeah. There's a lot of storage. It's all in, enclosed. Should do them a good job. Check that out. Isn't that pretty sweet? So I guess the ramp attaches to that so uh, you can get it down. Yeah, it rolls it right down. So. Wow. The whole platform comes out. Oh, so wow, and wow, okay. And then you just drive the motorcycle straight off of the piece wow. that's flat on the ground. Super cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you so thank much, you. Jesse. Appreciate it. It's good to see you. Yeah, great work. <laughs> now you can put a face with it. And I have to, I was joking with Sheila about like, okay, you had to rethink your plans for the next several years and how many yeah. campgrounds did you have to cancel? And, and they're like, that regular KOA is like, you're, you're 50, no. four plus yes. your, like, like, nah, nah, we don't, <laughs> we, yeah. we don't have room for you. Yeah. Like, how, how many cancellations did you do? That, I don't do the planning. Okay. Sheila does. <laughs> okay. But she did say, I'll ask her she about goes, that. I'm pretty happy. I think we're booked to October. Now, we are going to slow down okay. because we'll stay in campgrounds longer than we have in the past. So okay. that'll be good. So, um, but every campground now, I've never towed this. You want to watch some craziness? <laughs> when, when I've never gonna, hooked this up. When are you going to do it? End of February. Oh. Yeah, so we like, got to paint it still. It's still got to go to paint. Okay. Like the journey continues. <laughs> I, I'm like, oh, I just yeah. film you pulling oh, it's this gonna out be a, for the it's first gonna time. Be, it's going to be nuts. And You're going to get that, right, Jason? Yeah, yeah we'll get that. Here's the thing. We knew that people were going to be interested to find out how this worked. So what we decided to do is start shooting January of last year, and we have filmed the whole year. And we made a documentary, and it's called RV 
Revolution.tv. Okay. Now here's the cool part. The first episode's free, and then the next nine episodes we're charging fifteen dollars. Okay. But the minute they do that, they get a bottle of liquefied. They get RV Today magazine for a year, digital subscription. They get all these perks for the fifteen. And a free enduro ba power battery, right? No. <laughs> no. But, 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 but each week, each week, there's a giveaway. Okay. And some of that will include electric bike, it'll include enduro, it include um, techno RV. So every week that they're watching the documentary, up until April 1st, they'll get perks along the way. So okay. that is the most, nobody's done anything like that, and that is how we created the idea so you are witnessing that. Now, will this work? I have no clue. Well, like I told, like I told <laughs> Sheila, I said, well, you won't take failure as a inevitability. I mean, you're going to make it work. I mean, if you're people, when we talked to brands, they were like, the question they asked is, can you pull this off? And I go, you watched us fly an airplane last year. And they said, yes. And I was like, I think we can pull it off. If you joined us, we can pull it off. And yeah. Here we are. Here, here we are. Yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing. Well, let's, let's take a look at it. Oh, sure. I mean, we could talk out here for oh, yeah, hours yeah, yeah, yeah. about they wanna, details. They're watching the LED wall and they're like, what yeah. is that? Yeah. LED wall, eight foot by six and a half feet tall. It swings out from the front. There's the screen I was talking about. Right, yeah. Look at that. It, you can see how it swings out from the front cap right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's a complete, like, test. Is this protected for travel? Or? No. I mean, other than this, you got that right there. Yeah, so, protected. but it's LED, Ooh, you know, yeah. it's all weatherproof. So. Get, hopefully, uh, a, a, you know, hail won't damage it driving down the road. So, so Greg, what were some of the first time things in this particular build? So in this one, the LED screen on the front, um, we had to figure out how to fabricate it, the hinges, uh, how to integrate everything, the wiring, um, the speaker system, uh, the speakers on top, there's a subwoofer in the basement. Uh, the, the party deck uh, yeah. on top. Uh, and the, the That's hatch. my favorite. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. And I think one of the coolest things I can't wait to see on uh, Switch's channel is they're doing the balloon festival in Albuquerque. Um, oh. And they've got a front row seat, so they're going to be able to watch like the glow, and it's going to be right there at the takeoff spot. So oh, amazing. that's going to be the coolest thing ever. Yeah. That's going to be the coolest yeah. thing ever. That so th those super. are really, really fun things. Yeah. And, uh, the, the entertainment center inside um, that has kind of the hidden wall where there's storage behind it and the electronics. Uh, that was something that was kind of a cool new design. Um, the new bed um, that they brought in there that's adjustable, the split queen, um, that was really cool. So there's a lot of different things and then just the, the, the touches that uh, customers put on it with all of their ideas for the interior design. Um, it's really cool because some people are cutting edge, some people are more traditional, and they're always doing really cool things that we have to keep up on and make sure that we're able to execute. And nice. if you had to put a retail price tag on it, what would one like this? So this one, because um, it, it has extra stuff. Usually we tell people we're somewhere about 8,000 to 9,000 per foot. Okay. Um, is a good rule of thumb. This one would be north of 600 uh, because okay. of things like the LED screen and the party deck and the custom railings for the decks here, those kinds of things. Okay. So this has a little bit more than our normal upgrades or options on it. Right. What is this vote for your favorite? So, not painted. Um, they're letting people. Oh, it's the paint job. Yep, they're letting people decide. Oh, <laughs> it's crazy. I love it. I'm going to go up and make some changes with the Sharpie later. <laughs> Draw your face yep. on the big smiley face. So, that, that'll be really fun. Bright, enjoy the journey on there. Yep. <laughs> then, if you come up here, we have the concert deck. The concert deck is actually tied into the speaker system, and there's actually plug-ins for like acoustics that they can plug into, and then that goes down into the bay to run all of the sound system. And so, why don't you explain? So, so you guys are like the we do community events, or we right. do like some people would call them rallies, but they're actually huddles, and there's two to three hundred people that will come, and we go and do things. So we'll go white water rafting, or we'll go. Um, I don't know, we rented a whole boat and did a 70s theme party night. So we do things together at our events. And so what the goal was 
is to create something that everyone could sit out here and we can have fun. We could just, we can incorporate that. And so that's the vision for what we're doing, is to bring us all together. So, Enduro, you made funny of Enduro lithium battery. <laughs> we have eight 300 amp hour batteries. We're running 30 kilowatts. Sweet. And so, and almost 3,000 watts of solar. That was from RV Solar Connections. And they're, they're helping with all of the Victron components and all that fun stuff. There's Harrison, Mr. Enduro now. Harrison! Hey uh, man, it's good, good to see you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna be here. You're always out filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well this yeah. is awesome. Yeah. You're not just like another ordinary lithium battery brand no. here, you know, hands-on and expertise. You know, if you need a battery for your RV yeah. or your boat or anything off-road, off-grid. Golf off cart? Uh, yes. Or a massive event <laughs> RV. Or, or <laughs> so Harrison, I have to ask you, so when Todd first told you about this, what was your first reaction? I wasn't surprised because it came from Todd, <laughs> but I said, we got we to partake of it and, uh, you know, go along for the ride and uh, yeah. educate people. So, uh, nice. Over here. You start talking, you know, lithium, and it's like, how much you got? Yeah. You know, how long will it run it for? Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> so. He's got 30.7 kilowatt hours. Oh, 30.7. Uh, 30.7. Okay, well, yeah. I, you don't know your own rig yet, Todd? No, I haven't <laughs> drove it. I don't even know how I'm going to tow. <laughs> okay. Fair enough, right? So, we'll, we'll, so how are you powering that up? Uh, we have a 48 volt system, uh, which as I said before, 30.7 kilowatt hours. In our case, that is a total of eight of our 12 volt, 300 amp hour batteries wired in series and parallel. Um, <laughs> basically, even with everything Todd's going with the LED board, with you know the speaker uh. system he's got, um, the system will, will, and we got 2,700 watts of solar on the roof as well. Okay. All that combined uh, will keep up with day-to-day -day activities. Uh, if we need to like really do something, we can fire up the generator. Of course. If it really yeah. needs to happen, because if we have a bunch of, and we're doing an event, it's cloudy for a long time, so we, we kind of balanced it. Because yeah. we put the deck on, we couldn't put more solar panels. So One, one unique thing about his rig, uh, and many of you out there have heard about it, he has a mini split air conditioning system, which right. is like almost half the consumption of most RV uh, air conditioners. Now, it's not usually an option for most people to put in a mini split into their, their RV, but in, in the case of this custom build, it was definitely the right solution, which allows him to run even two uh, air conditioners without even having any, you know, any yeah. dent on the battery bank with the solar. So. Cool. Yep. so the power is the, the, the fun part, right? But it's always the part that's hidden. So uh, you want to be out of sight, out of mind with power so uh, the guys here at spacecraft did a phenomenal job in uh, tucking away the power uh, source um, so down here in this bay we have um, as you can see on the bottom here four of the batteries on the bottom the other four are actually tucked up underneath inside the frame you're not gonna be able to see them from here um, but a total of the eight 12 volt 300s, which series parallel gives you that 48 volt 600 amp hour system or 30.7 kilowatt hours. Um, this is paired with a Victron system. So here you can see the, um, the touch screen uh, indicating all the shore power, consumption, solar production and battery power. And we'll step it back into this compartment right here. And uh, you can see the two 48 volt 5,000 VA Quattros uh, that are running split phase powering this whole system. Nice, you can feel the heat coming off of that. <laughs> even with even with a rig this big, you know, you think, wow, it's massive, you know. This is a big system. Um, this is no bigger than a couple other systems that you and I have talked about before or some other people that people that are really looking to spend time off-grid, energy to independent, can do a system this size. Uh, as we spoke before, you know, if you're just getting started in RVing, just want to get, you know, less maintenance, a little bit more time off grid, a little bit less generated runtime, just getting into lithium, even if it's a single 12 volt, 200 amp hour, solves a lot of issues for a lot of people. So, um, you know, we, we love to work with people, educate people. You can always call us here at Enduro Power and uh, help you guys figure out what, what your needs I are. Love working with you, Harrison. Um, I mean, I have half of that. The yeah. same batteries, actually. I've got four of those, and I have room for two more. 
Yep. I guess you're yep. gonna have to come back out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we gotta see if you need it. You know, it's, so, it's one thing just to add them, but do you need them? So yeah, we'll no, out. it's it's been great. I I've been loving it. All right, you ready? Yes. Let's hit some interior things. Okay. Some some ideas and some concepts that Sheila came up with when we designed it. We I see you got the Moride safety rail Moride here. Moride is so, with us in this yes. little journey. Love that. All right. We'll go this way. So far, this is the only thing that's also on my RV. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, this is... So we wanted to do something a little different. Everything's on mini splits here. So it's all running off of solar, which is amazing. We wanted some depth to a bedroom. So we reached out. Axel Bloom is a unique company. It's out of California, and they're actually made overseas. So it's actually a queen bed, which people are going to like, what? Well... We've always had queen beds when we, well, since we've been married. So I wanted something different, so we did this amazing weird system, and it is individual, so you can adjust it however you want. Split queen, it's different. Uh, so uh, when you're snoring at night, she like can snore. just uh, uh, not elbow you. She can like, she can oh, I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. So here's that bed I was telling you about. Split yeah. queen, um, adjustable, so each side's adjust on its own. Um, if somebody wants to sit up and watch TV, they can. Um, or if somebody, and then the other person wants to sleep or just lay down, they There's can. There's room for yoga uh, here. Yep. Most of this time, yeah. yoga. <laughs> this and the floors even floor space in there for that even in the back yeah we've actually designed that. some trailers that were specifically for yoga they're like this is the space that we need for the mat yes. and the, the exercises yes. that i do thank you so we designed it for that <sighs> crazy that's, that's, the, that's the cool part a, of a manufacturer cool that cares wow like what <laughs> well, well, I was joking with them uh, yesterday about, you know, Todd and Sheila have all these amazing ideas, and then you're like the want to say yes to everything. So <laughs> Try to. You, you get those two things together, and then who knows what you're going to create. Especially the technology. Test, th test and equals compromise. <laughs> <laughs> technology, because that's the magic Elevated word. <laughs> Elevated stress level. <laughs> that, that, that increases her blood pressure like 20 points. Oh, that's funny. Whenever I say that. But there's, there's always compromise. Every inch matters. <laughs> oh! So it's, new t-shirt idea? No. <laughs> One of the that's awesome. One of the one of the best uh, examples of that is on the island in the kitchen. So, okay. Um, the island they wanted a, a, a dish drawer in there. Well, that dish drawer is a certain depth, so that dictates the width of the island. Well, then oh. your slides can only be so deep, and they have to be able to come in when you close up. So that kind of that that dishwasher drove the entire setup of the kitchen and living room. Okay. So that's part of the compromise is um, we always tell people we can do anything within the parameters of uh, regulation, imagination, budget, and physics. So regulation and imagination are pretty, pretty easy. The budget's always challenging with money, um, but then physics, um, I just tell people, you know, most people want a 50-foot trailer, but they want it to be 40-foot long. <laughs> right. We're not, we're, not, we're not Harry Potter. So <laughs> we can't do that. You're so not magicians? So it's a matter of, um, the, the good thing is, since we've been in business for over 60 years, we have a lot of knowledge, wisdom, and ideas to maximize every cubic inch. So we try to do that and give the customer exactly what they want with just a few minor tweaks to facilitate infrastructure. A lot of people don't think about, um, when you see a floor plan, it's really cool, but most people don't think about the three-dimensional aspect of that. You've got the basement, so you've got the water, you've got all the electric, some of that stuff has to go through the roof. So to facilitate all of the integration of that infrastructure within the context of a floor plan and moving parts um, and rolling earthquake, um, there's challenges to all of that. And we try to do the wisdom and give everybody the solutions relative to their ideas to make what can happen happen. Wow, I'm impressed. Where are you based out of? Just east of Kansas City. Okay. All right. Yeah, I did notice like there's the the little touches are, mean so much. Like the side Very tables, awesome. the side tables are huge. Like having a little nightstand, a uh -huh. place to put your water. You know your so, phone. You don't see example. that many RVs. Great example. You know, a lot of people want a king. Well, if you want a king, you lose the nightstands, right. or you have to go a foot longer. Right. Um, so that's one of the first places we look for 12 inches when we're designing a trailer. And if they're like, okay, I want a 42 foot, but this one's 43. Well, are you willing to go from a king to a queen? Because then we're done. 
Um, but little things like even um, uh, washer and dryers are a big thing. Mm -hmm. Most of the time we put 24 inch um, washer and dryers in like apartment models. Um, some people are like, nope, I want a full 27. I want it to be just like I have at home. Um, and some people, if they've got four or five kids with them, we've done some um, for families of six and, and those size, they have full loads of laundry, they need that. They do. Um, but it's an extra three inches. And um, we build up to 57 feet and even at that length, three inches matters. Yeah, it does. So right. um, there, there's little things like that that we try to do to um, maximize the space and give people everything that they want. Wow, that's impressive. I Just, didn't realize you've been to Rounds for so long. Yeah, we're probably and it's beautiful the coolest RV too. company that nobody knows about. Okay. <laughs> so. It needs more. But yeah. we're also sold out two and a half years, so um, it's, it's a challenge. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a good problem for us, yeah, but customers want their trailers as fast as we can give them and yeah. we just we won't sacrifice quality. So They do about 10 to 12 a year. Wow, nice. So yeah. super custom. So <laughs> TV is articulating, goes up to the roof. Okay. And then these, we're finishing, we're about 70% done, so we just made it to the show. But these will articulate up and this will be storage and then all of the different things here. So these both come in, so we're six slides. So everything comes in and within probably a half inch to an inch. It's the craziest thing. So barn door here, cool. Barn door, but it, it is, it's nice. You, you can't design. see any of the hardware. Oh, you're right. Oh, look at that. So what? it's actually called Magic is yeah. the system that it's on. So it's a magic system. How? <laughs> It's magic. So maybe we can do some Harry Potter stuff. No, there's, a, there's, <laughs> there, there's rollers right here, um, and uh -huh. then that drives everything, and there's some wheels on the floor, and um, it facilitates everything. But. And that just keeps it yep. in place. Yep. Well, brilliant. Because extra hardware, yeah. Yep. This is like, this is eye candy mm -hmm. here. <laughs> so when you come back here, Sheila wanted to do something different, so she made this door, and this is called the Magic Hinge. So you can't see where the hinge is or where the slide mechanism is. Oh, wow. I know, it's a little different. That and is she cool. Was like, okay, I want a bathroom. So this is, you don't see these on slides very often. So she actually put this whole thing on a slide to come in and out. And we came up with a residential shower. So she finally got the shower she always wanted, and we tiled it and did all that fun stuff. Uh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, nice looking shower. Look at this. Yeah. Yep, so uh, this is the third tile shower we've done. Um, I think we're one of the only towable companies that does a tile shower. Um, this is the first one we did the niche in it. Um, so for shampoo and those things. Oh, look at that. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Um, and then Sheila, um, if you want to have fun, ask Todd if he wants to talk about the design of the shower. And that's a <laughs> really good look on his face. That'd be another thumbnail for the for the video. <laughs> but, oh, um, boy. You know, she had a very specific, this is how I want it to look. And um, worked with, we've got a master plumber on staff. And um, he talked with her about it and said, you know, this is what we can do. And this is what makes the most sense. And um, What are these back panels? Um, it's a faux niche, so it's supposed to look just like the wall here. Oh, um, so it's so like it's, a continuous it's, look. It's tile. It's just not. Okay, um, nice. The walls are only two inches thick, so you really can't do that there, and it wouldn't be insulated. Right. So that was the look that she wanted to kind of continue that around. Yeah, the, nice. The shower. Very cool. And the, I like the design, the simplicity mm -hmm. of everything. Custom shower door, that was that was really cool, yeah. and it adds a lot of aesthetics to what she's in the, the vanity <laughs> behind me. Bathroom. Nice and stud, liquefied, <laughs> just so you know. Matt's been here, if you haven't used liquefied, it's a great time. I was gonna say, did Matt come in and demo that for you? <laughs> Try and poop you this Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> then back here, we're going to put a, like a really cool, sh like she wanted to do something organizational for our closet. So we kind of left it blank, put a shelf up here, but then she has a wonderful washer dryer all in one that runs off of her cell phone. So, I don't know. I, I saw I, that. That looks amazing. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I so, mean, full size for an RV. That it is, is full size. Huge. Yeah. Super yeah. cool. Isn't that amazing? Well, I'll bring my laundry over. Okay, well, you can do that. <laughs>
and it keeps going and we keep going and yeah we're not at the end yet <laughs> oh nice so they did wow. a combo unit oh okay um, this actually added a little bit to the trailer because um, it's a little bit wider, wider. Um, normally our uh, closets are 22 inches deep um, this one's a little bit longer so um, that was one of the things that dictated the overall length and how it was designed but they wanted the combo unit for wash and dry in one spot nice um, I don't know much about how those work but it sounds interesting there some people love them uh, some people it's a little bit challenging because they don't dry all the way oh, uh, the okay. clothes feel a little bit damp but most people say if you take something out and like snap it um, it's like when your hands are close to dry when you're washing them and drying them in a, um, a bathroom then once you kind of move just for a second then they're dry right so yeah. it's it's just getting used to it yeah interesting well this is gorgeous and you notice how quiet it is got the mini split AC is on right yeah. now yeah that's nice yeah it should feel like calm if you come back through here, this is functioning for like slides. This is a coat closet, place to put your shoes. Take care, underneath. guys. And then, this is Wyatt. Hey, so if Wyatt. you build a spacecraft, you will be working with this gentleman quite a bit. So he's sitting on this love sack, which is cool. It's got a subwoofer in it. You can actually put your um, phone here and it charges. You can on each one, really? and then it has speakers on the sides, speaker behind, and then this weird, weird, like you're going to look at this, is this art? No, it's a TV. It's an art piece that you can, it, it's always on, it doesn't shut off, and it just does different art. Or you can put family pictures on it and that rotates. That is cool. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. So this actually opens, but Wyatt's been storing all of his stuff in here. <laughs> so this will actually be storage for chairs, things like that. And then our oh, control opponent. So we have all the different things from High Boost. High Boost gave us something that's pretty good to increase our cell signal. We've got Techno RV. That's their new booster with the two carbs. And then we went ahead with Starlink. So we have the big Starlink that can travel down the road. So okay. That's up there. So communication is key because it runs everything that's on here. We're running Garmin and Garmin is the newest system that's not been done which comes with good and bad and the bad sometimes means that not everything's working currently until Garmin gets some things programmed. Correct? Yes. Right. But when it's, when it's going it's going to be pretty cool. And when you're pushing the envelope, uh, sometimes there's a lot of troubleshooting. Correct. <laughs> so. Of course, I edit videos. You guys know nothing about <laughs> no, that. No, no, right? no, no, no. I mean, you're not massing out like four of these a day or anything, no, right? No. <laughs> so this is going to be my edit editing studio. It'll actually control also the LED wall and the sound system. I can do that from here as well once, okay. this, once the computer system and everything's in. It basically looks like artwork yep. until you want it to be a monitor. Yep. Fireplace, and this is storage. There's going to be chairs for the decks up top. Oh, um, wow. Electronics up here, and they've got some other things that they're using the space for. Nice. That'd be a great place for camera equipment. Mm -hmm. What was the integration with Garmin exactly, and how, how does that work? I mean, I've heard a little bit. It's a of multiplexing talk. system, so it's like. Um, uh, Firefly and the other systems that are out there to run all the um, lights. Uh, you can look at your tank levels, batteries, um, all of that stuff. So it just integrates all of that, gives you the ability to run it from there. The fun thing with Garmin is like the panel, this one, you can remove it and you can actually take it into your vehicle and it's a Garmin, so it's navigation. Okay. So cool. you can and run it from phone, you can run it from this. This is actually going to be the Come first um, uh, unit in the U.S. that has RF switches. So light switches everywhere that are remote control. Um, so we'll be hopefully getting those next week when it's in Kansas City for the, the show there. And then Sheila wanted a, I wanted a specific table. She found it. So we had something made. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. It's a resin table from Canada. And then she came up with this whole concept of the kitchen and what she wanted. And so you got a refrigerator that tells you what's inside of it. If you're at the grocery store, you can show a camera and see, oh, I forgot I need ketchup. So you can actually see in there off of your cell phone. <laughs> yeah, that, that, it's a little silly to that, me. That is. <laughs> this is the hatch. This yes. is how you get to the deck up top. So this pops up. It's a marine hatch. And then we have a ladder that's here. And we just simply put the ladder here, 
and then it comes to here, and you can still walk around. And okay. You can go up in it, up to the deck. That's how you get it. Well, that deck is one of the coolest features oh, here. But you might like this. This oh, is man. our wonderful different door style. It's bifold door, and it's weird on a spacecraft how high you are versus a normal right. deck. Like you're totally. you're really higher than you think, and you're pretty close to the top. So if you needed to reach out and hand something up to somebody, you can. So it's an Where's amazing. My beer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then what we have then? She had custom doors made. So the doors for the bedroom, and then that's actually a bed. So she'll have a desk that comes off of there, and the desk will fold down so she can work. And then we can oh, open it up. Cool. And then if we have the kids here, this comes down for a Murphy bed. So the Murphy bed comes down, so then this is all closed off for whoever's staying with us. So, and then again, this all opens completely up. So that as you're sitting back here, and you're watching the ocean or whatever you want to, the dream lifestyle, right? Yeah, totally. You can be right out here and you have all this space. And again, yeah. access to the top deck, so. Yeah, this is it's, awesome. <laughs> it's, it, it is amazing. It's taken us a year. <laughs> if, you, if you're gonna watch something, the documentary is, you're gonna see our highs and lows. You're gonna see us cry, you're gonna see us laugh, and see what it really takes to do something completely custom. And that's why we created the RVRevolution.tv, and then it'll be 10 episodes. We gave the first one for free for people to see who we are, what we're doing, and how we came about the idea. And then the other nine episodes, um, we have sponsors that are going to provide things along the way. So it's pretty neat to see. And when does that first episode drop? Right. Today, buddy. Today. Very exclusive. Oh, This wow. morning at 8 a.m. Oh, okay. Now, it depends on when you upload this video, Tom. If Sweet. you upload it three months from now, it's going to be a different scenario. <laughs> oh, but I'm okay. Just saying. But right now, as it sits at the Tampa RV Show, it's live. <laughs> oh, what is this? So yeah. this is a Murphy bed right here. Oh, cool. Yep. So they're residential um, folding patio doors. Look at that. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's got the accordion opening. Yep. Look so this that. one, same thing with the side deck. Um, this is a Murphy bed. Um, but then they also want this to be usable space. So one of the things that's really good with us since we're custom is multi-use space. And it's spacecraft, the etymology of that's really crafting space. So using every cubic inch, so it's a little bit of a play on words. Um, there's going to be a whiteboard here but that's actually the leg for a desk. So it'll be like this, and then it'll come the down, comes the down. whiteboard's the leg, and then it'll be a desk right here. Wow. Um, so, work. so this will be an office. An that, office and a bedroom all yep. in one. It reminds me of the Pebble uh, that I did a tour on. They've got the Murphy bed combined with a desk nice. option, so. Plus this one has a, um, this one has the deck. Oh so yeah. So it's a bedroom office with a view. Right? Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be some cool places that they back up to that are just going to be amazing views. Yes. And if you can get on the beach or something like that, or some of our customers do overlooks. That's a half bath. Sheila, we're going to pre-crash your party. A, with a really cool... Hi! <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Come on, you guys. You guys are on fire. I am so impressed. I'm just blown away. Change, just change everything. Just go in and just change everything. That's what I keep saying. Like everybody's saying same thing, same thing, same thing. Like you're gonna come in and blow everybody away. That's crazy. Well, SpaceCraft was the right group of people to partner with in order to make that yeah. happen. Yeah. Props, to, props to you guys, Hi, all Garrett. of you. Yeah. Hi, Amazing. And, and how much fun is this gonna be? <laughs> Are you scared? That's a scared that face. face. <laughs> Oh, there's the thumbnail face. Oh, no. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the thumbnail. Yeah. We totally planned that. Not really. okay. So Here's look at this. Deck. Oh my gosh! How do you get up there? <laughs> You're like, let me I up know. there. Let like, me up there. I have the whole time we've been RVing. I'm like, I just want a deck to lay out on up there. Mm -hmm. You know, you just 
Little space. Little sun. Little sun. Sun. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that right I just, if we were going to be on the road full time doing this, I just wanted something that felt like a home. Yes. This is my home. Yes. And our office, right? Yes. Yeah. Just want to be home. Sure, you're cutting board. Oh, yeah. Found this oh. one at a Nashville <gasps> beautiful. farmer's market. Isn't that beautiful? That. And they, if they, they, they custom made what wow. I needed. So, yeah, Walnut Hill Woodworks. He did a great job it's for us. It's beautiful. And then Spacecraft's going to put, uh, this will be a trash can for me underneath there. And that's mm -hmm. for my step stool because I'm still Oh, short. so you can chop and just put it in the garbage. Chop, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of chopping, so I just put the knife block here and then be able to chop what? here into the garbage. Right. Look at that. Nice. Brilliant. Brilliant. Julie's going to come over and cook with me. I am. I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> she's my southern friend. She likes, she's got some good southern cooking. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. Oh, this is awesome. Well, we want oh, you you're, guys. Yeah. Uh, you're good. No, you. Looks like you're preparing for a big little shindig. You make yourself at home. Come on in. No. Uh, Questions? You have any, like, is a lot to take in. Yeah, can we go up top? You could, but it just rained. You really want to go up there and take the shot? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Let me shut this door. I, I'm sure you're not going to want to do it during the actual show. No, so. we won't. We won't. Okay. I don't know if they want to wrap up. The big separation with LG is... Don't forget to lock it down when you're driving down the road. Oh my gosh, yeah. Can you imagine what that'll be? <laughs> that will be bad. And I don't want to get wet. <laughs> so what you're watching is that everything that we've done, you're watching me kind of learn because I this is the first time I've had to deal with rain. So uh, what's your shakedown trip going to be like, Todd? <laughs> we're going to film it all and you're going to watch me run over mailboxes or learn how to drive. It's like, hey, Greg, uh, we need some body work yeah, done on the yes. side here. <laughs> That is exactly what's going have, have you ever driven anything this big? No. I've had a Ram 3500 and I've had a Grand Design just like you. Okay. So I started out with that. So I'm going to have to learn. It's going to be like starting from scratch. Except if I break something, it's going to be pretty bad. Would you like to go up? So, so I, I hope you have good insurance. Yeah. Um, it's not ours yet. <laughs> So the manufacturer better have good insurance. <laughs> Greg better have it. Greg, <laughs> we had an oopsie. I didn't read your mind. My wife read your mind. I did not read your mind. But yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. But basically, you got to have a semi. You're going to make me cry now. No, no, you're going to come to our events and we're going to have some fun together. Oh, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, because it is. It's, this is about. Everybody bring in their RVs and this becomes like the event thing that we can hang out and do something fun with the speakers and the, we're going to do some fun stuff together. That's the community. And the live band and the, yes. and the drummer on the Yes! The pianist on the okay. oh, Yes! Yeah. You see it! Yes! I yes! See it. I saw it immediately. Yeah. So no. when is the band starting up this week? Yeah, exactly. Well, we might have a singer flying in to do something very special probably Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. Nice. I'm not, I'm just going to leave it at that. we got to have surprises at the Tampa show. Like, this is a big enough thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So Axl Rose is going to be here Wednesday? Oh. No. I'm so but I would love, I? I would love that. <laughs> no, I'm going to have, a, I will tell you, at some point we will do an event and I will have an 80s band. Who? I don't know yet, but there will be an event where you'll see. George White? Oh, no. no. Come on. <laughs> I'd love a Boston or a Journey or come on, when those will be fun. Oh, I would love to see Boston, yeah. yes. Oh, like, I don't even know if they're around, but I mean, we could get, we could have some fun. We'd come up with somebody. A deck. Yeah. Oh, there's a deck up there. Yeah. Tom's going to go up. Okay. Go up. Here, I'll hand you the GoPro. <laughs> Sounds good. This way you don't die. <laughs> Up we go. Up you go. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't slip and fall. Greg's insurance, you know. <laughs> okay, so where are you going to be during the eclipse? We won't have it in time. Oh no! Do you want to go? Up? Okay, but can we see up your skirt? I don't want to do. I don't want to be put in this awkward situation. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Wow! That is so so much. Check this out. Yes, it's definitely a fun experience. Oh, sorry. 
<laughs> you, you might want an elevator in here for that equipment. <laughs> it gets better if you've done it a few times. So has spacecraft done this before? Have they this have they specific put, RV? Uh, I mean, like a deck like that. No, on we are top. the, the we are the actual. This was all my stupid ideas. <laughs> she was like, if you're gonna do your dumb ideas, then we'll do all my fun finishes. So the LED wall was like this weird idea is like so I want people to sit outside and I want them to be able to like if we whatever we want to put on there if we want to watch the Super Bowl if we want to have like do whatever I want I want it it's like okay I go well if we're going to do that we need a sound system if we have like a musician fly in or we have people I want to have like if we have three decks we can have like a person playing guitar here we can have a singer up there we can have so the sound system came in from that. Sound system wasn't bad, it's only 15,000. And everyone asked, well, the LED wall. The LED wall, if you watch the documentary, it started out at $80,000. And I was like, there's no way this is gonna happen. So then the next one I got, I found it for um, 50,000. I was like, this is no way this is gonna happen. And then we went to the Grand Design Rally and while we were there, they had all these LED walls set up. And I went and I looked on the back and I found a sticker. I'm like, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna find out who these are. And then I went around, found them, and the LED wall was right around twenty thousand dollars. So honestly, I mean, from eighty to twenty. Well, twenty. You're not sure, like getting it here. We weren't sure that the panels were gonna fall. Nobody's done this. So like there was a running joke like how many, when it's gonna get here, how many are still gonna be on the RV? And they all made it. Everything works. So it, it's a concept, an idea. So we still don't know. This just could be. So we bought extra panels in case. I was curious that how it would hold up just driving. Yeah, it's doing well. I mean, this was the first trip. I'm talking about a shakedown trip. So this literally will go to the Kansas City RV show, showcase there. Then it goes to paint. Well, first they'll have to get everything ready to paint. They have to pull some stuff off, like the wall. And then they'll go to paint, and then we'll pick it up at the end of February. And then I gotta figure out how to hook it up for the first time, how to drive it for the first time. <laughs> so, yeah, it's gonna, it is going to be a, a crazy, weird adventure. What color are you gonna paint it? So we have three choices on it. Let me that. guess, green. Oh, okay. <laughs> green, gray, and black. But it won't have the Switch Up logo, and people are like, why aren't you doing the logo on the front? It's like, I have an LED wall. I put whatever I want on the front. <laughs> the wall pivots back and locks into place on the front. So in an RV park, not to be atrocious, right? The wall will be playing at about 20% brightness because it gets bright. So, and then I'll put like a QR code with a walkthrough. So that way people walking by, they're like, well, what is this? They can do a QR code and I don't have to have the knocking on the door all the time. And so that way they can see it and they don't know what channel, but people, I know people are going to be interested because it's weird. Well, props to you guys for everything you're taking on because this is here. Yeah, it is. It's here. It's a blessing. Like God's really opened doors, all the sponsorships. And you know from running a channel what it's like to reach out to different brands. And so we've been very blessed. Yeah. Now, so everything's just been manifesting in your favor. Who are you? You want how much? Click. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they actually called us back. So cool. We did we did something very unique. Um, so we made a three minute video of the vision. And then we would email and say, Would you join us in this? crazy and then the ones that were really interested they would email back and then we'd have to do zooms and then we'd go back and forth on what would be appropriate and then we lock everybody down yeah so when somebody is like they're mad or they're like I can't believe you, I was like do you have any idea there's no way we could afford this I think that's the misconception the only way it happened is is that the brands all came together came together right. and they sponsored us for a year yeah. And that's just the only way this what is going to happen. What a gift. It's so amazing. Yeah. I'm so happy for you guys. It's good because you understand that whole. Oh, yeah. yeah. I understand that whole yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Hey, Bob. Yeah. So. Well deserved.
hard work and well deserved. It's yeah. fun, but I'm glad you enjoy it because I was like, beautiful. you're, you're going to be like, okay, it feels more like a home than. It does, and yeah. the design and like even like the door, the way it slides, and it does have all the yeah. hardware and it's just, it's just beautiful and it feels good. The floor space everywhere is yeah. amazing. I'm like, you could do yoga here. You could do, you could yoga do that. Here. Uh, yeah. You could go right here. You could go sunbathe. Yes. Instead of That's dancing. my favorite. I know. Yeah. Favorite. You could sunbathe. Yeah. No. She saw the portal and she's like, oh, I want to go up there. <laughs> so, Tom, tell him how many years I've said, I just want a deck on top. I know. He told us. <laughs> and you even danced up on top. So I'm like, oh, yeah. she would appreciate that. Yes, absolutely. Like, yeah. Her heart. That's the fun. deck. <laughs> Is that going to be like uh, a new membership level, the yeah. deck level? Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> the deck level. Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> you got to pay a little extra for the deck yeah. level. <laughs> the deck level. We're looking forward to Albuquerque Balloon Festival this year. We heard, we got heard We're a little. Go that. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so incredible. And then we have um, possibly NASCAR. We'll do a NASCAR. Wow, yeah. cool. So Sweet. Big year ahead. 2024. Oh, I still got to learn to drive and hook up first, so let's get okay. the take those Yeah. Good stuff. luck with that. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's you know what's fun. best? Tom? What's that? No more leaf springs, baby. <laughs> no more. Mo Ride should have a whole shirt that says no more leaf springs. Because Mo Ride, you know, they're fabulous, man. I'm on Air Ride, but I know right. you have no leaf springs and it's gotta yeah. be like free. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. It, awesome. So did more ride put anything else on there besides the safety slide, rail? No, we have or? slides, safety rails. Um, I think we have the, the cord reel, and then we have a couple things we'd like them to do. Yeah. Okay. It's a product that we're kind of going through. Okay. Side. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. We're gonna find out. Yeah, they're great because you know they'll go with a, an idea and run with it. Yeah. So yeah. It's gonna be a good year. Yeah. Sweet. I can't wait to see busy what you guys year. do. Yeah. Busy year. Awesome. Awesome. So, no, I'm glad and you got to come. Yeah. Well, finally, the brains behind this operation yes. here, Sheila. <laughs> yes. This is amazing. Hey, thanks. I, I, I mean, you guys take the impossible and make it possible when you're building your dream RV and dream vehicle for your business. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, I was joking with you guys about uh, showing up with this eight foot big screen TV, this big deck and an eight person and band. Putting your, and putting your face on it and say we're enjoythejourney.life and just put <laughs> your face on our right. RV. Right. right. And so then we'll just crank up the music so and then they'll, they'll go to your channel and say, say turn it down. You suck. Yeah. <laughs> Be the, careful, Tom. The ultimate room yeah. campers. Yes. Yeah. Be okay. careful, Tom. I, I better go take those 10 booby traps out yeah, of yeah, the yeah, 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 that yeah, I, yeah. I place in there. That's fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, congratulations. Oh, yeah. Amazing rig. You guys are so creative. Thank you have amazing partners, yes, uh, some of which we also you work are, with yes. as well. And yeah, I'm just excited to, uh, you know, now I'm going to have to come and hang out. Yes. At one of your <laughs> We're now making it almost impossible <laughs> for you not to come. So, uh, and you've got that uh, Murphy bed in the back for me, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. There we go. Or you can put a tent on top. Yeah, we'll let you camp on top. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe the homeless guy sleeping on top of the <laughs> RV. There's a little bit of a shelter up there. you got this tiny yeah. little yeah, sunshade yeah. Yeah. up there. Yeah, so our goal is, is like, if you want to see how it's all built, watch the documentary. Okay. So rvrevolution.tv. It'll show all episodes, and we want... And we want people to come and join us. We want everyone to get together and we go do some hang out and have fun. Right, so what we'll do is we'll put a QR code right here that will go to that so oh, they awesome. can watch the yeah, whole yeah, documentary yeah. and get signed up to subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do all, all of that good stuff. All because, of this together. Well, I really like that you're taking RV community and just taking it so far beyond and you know bringing together other channels uh you want to have like the biggest get together uh, we will at ever, some point yeah uh which i think is awesome we'd have to beat airstream because airstream community is really big <laughs> so we're talking you'd have to have really three, yeah you have to have three or four thousand rvs but okay. all of us all the channels together we can do it i know okay. we can yeah well we're on board with that let's so. have some fun 
Yeah. We'll even invite you your streamers. We can all do it together. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. Well, we love yeah. your rigs too. I love yours. Yeah, it, that's the beautiful thing about this community too, is because there's so many different manufacturers, yes. so many custom builds that you can make your RV whatever you want yeah. it to, whatever it is. So come out with your tent or your pop-up, your Airstream or your Absolutely. spacecraft. It's all about getting together and it depends on what you're wanting to start with or what you've been a seasoned traveler. You all can be, we can all do something. So totally. just get out there and do it. Make memories, that's what it's about. Yeah. 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 So, it's like enjoying the journey. Yeah, it's kind of oh, like enjoying okay. the journey. <laughs> Enjoy the journey and switch it up. We'll see you guys on the road. Absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. You bet. <laughs>